In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate a Windows VM, in other words, a Windows virtual machine running in VMware with GNS3. In this example, I'm using GNS3 1.5.3 on a Windows PC, and I'm going to integrate Windows 10 running within VMware with the GNS3 VM. The first thing I'm going to do is shut down the Windows VM. That's because I want GNS3 to make changes to VMware. At the moment, the network adapter on the VM is bridged, but I want GNS3 to change that. So I'm going to go to Edit Preferences in GNS3. I'm going to select VMware VMs under the VMware heading. Before I integrate VMware VMs, under VMware, make sure that you have enough network adapters. So as an example, you may want to create a VMNet 2 to VMNet 11 to give you a number of VMNet interfaces that can be managed by GNS3. Just note that when you do that, those network adapters will be created on your PC. So you may not want that many created. Under VMware VMs, select New, and in the list, select the VM that you're going to add to GNS3. In this example, I'm adding the Windows 10 VM. I'm gonna click Finish, click Edit, under Network, I'm going to specify one adapter, and I'm going to allow GNS3 to use any configured VMware adapter. There's some general settings, but I'm not going to select anything there. I'm going to click OK and click OK again. Now that means that the Windows 10 PC is now available to be used in the GNS3 topology. So I'm going to drag a router and the Windows VM to the workspace and then connect them. So here's my topology. I'll start up the devices. So GNS3 will start up the VM in VMware Workstation. I'll open up a console connection. So here's my router. I'll configure an IP address of 10.1.1.1. No shut the interface. In Windows, I'll log in. So we can log in. I'm going to open up a CMD prompt. At the moment, no IP address is configured. The server was configured to use DHCP. So I'm gonna configure the server manually. So give it an IP address of 10.1.1.2. Default gateway is 10.1.1.1. And I'll set the DNS server to Google. Click OK. And now I should be able to ping myself, which I can. And I should be able to ping the Cisco router, which I can. So as an example, on the, on the router, I should be able to ping the Windows server. In this case, I've got a firewall, so I can't. So I will disable the Windows firewall and try again. There you go. So the router can ping the Windows PC and the Windows PC can ping the router. Now, if you have a problem where the network adapter is shown as disconnected, go into VMware and change the network adapter to NAT and then back to the setting it was set to. So as an example, set it to NAT, click OK, then set it back to custom, remember which VMNet you were using and click OK. But in this example, once again, I'm able to ping the router I could do a debug. 
on the router to look at the output. And notice we can see the pings being received by the router from the Windows PC. Now you can extend this, so as an example, I could add an internet cloud here and then connect the router to the cloud. I won't do that here, but you could enable NAT on this router and then allow the PC to get to the internet. So that was a quick demonstration of how to integrate a Windows VM with GNS3. You can extend your topology and add many types of devices to your GNS3 topologies by integrating various VMs with GNS3. I hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, please like the video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.